All right, hello, hello. This is a pick a dragon for your message. Um, you can check the comments to jump down to the second dragon, the second message. Um, so your choices in this particular video are more Dwin. So let's see, we also have 25, 6, 7, 8, 28, 2, 8, and Luna is the second pile, which we have, let's see, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 28 and 18, okay, are the numbers if you're drawn into that. All right, so I do not know what all messages are in here. There is tarot as well. If you want to jump to the Luna card, oh, I felt the tarot. Oh, there's the angel number too. Check the comments to jump to that one in particular. Um, as far as zodiac signs, I actually got a lot of scorpionic energy. Um, 11, 5, 11, 11, 11, 9. Um, 2, 5 though, I mean, excuse me, 2, 8. And 18. Hmm. So potentially even Aries, Capricorn, uh, Taurus, and Aquarian energy. All right, let's just see what the dragon path has to. This is, a, I, I do recall, uh, these are about this Mordwin. Let's see. Let me check the, the time to timestamp at 122, starting with Mordwin. This is the Dragon Path message. So if you're drawn into the message from Mordwin, I do believe that this is about uh, the right people and places and opportunities being brought into your life. Okay. And I'll always take it how it resonates and um, check my channel for other videos, what you're drawn to. And this is timeless, but I am doing it in the month of May in Taurus energy, 515. And so your May monthlies, I really pulled in the uh, dragon messages. So um, if you haven't listened to that, there may be more information for you regarding your sun, moon, or rising sign. So Mordwin is here, uh, maybe a galactic dragon. These dragons aid us to the path of spiritual enlightenment or ascension through helping us to connect vibrationally with the planet and the universe. So 25, 28. Oh, Luna is there as well. So you're like I was saying, so they may be interconnected um, because I'm seeing Luna right now as well as I turn the page in here. There is Virgo energy as well, embracing and accepting what you really feel. Mother figure. So even, you know, Cancerian energy. But I'm seeing Virgo, maybe Aries, Capricorn as well. Interesting. 9, 8 and 9, 7. Oh, excuse me. No, nine, five. Okay. The Grand Master Dragon. Okay, so Luna apparently is the galactic energy. I don't know why I'm talking about it with this one, um, but maybe it is spotlighted that there is messages for both. Uh, it seems that way sometimes when I do um, set it up, the two dragons usually kind of can interconnect. So let's see. Guardian Dragon. Here we go. Guardian dragon. Only you are the master of your destiny. 125. Okay, so and 12, 5. So I'm seeing 5, 6, 7, 8. Wow. So even about your karma, your abundance, the eighth house energy, there is Aquarian, Sagittarian. Uh 2, 8, 28, the 10. Huh. Mordwin is an awesome character, hugely powerful and all encompassing. He will open the doors, but and put people or situations in your path, which all lead you to living your divine purpose. It is his responsibility to guide you to fulfill the contract that you made in spirit before coming to earth for this incarnation. He says you are the power accepted as your own. Only you are the master of your destiny. 126 and 126. His clear message is his message is clear. So ignore him at your peril. You have a job to do. So let's get on with it. You have the tools and the knowledge you need. Your self-doubt hinders you. Your time is now. The world needs to see your light. Step into your heart and I will take the journey with you. He continues, your role is to take your light out into the world with me as your guide. Together we are the master creators. As you discover your life purpose, acknowledge your fears and self-doubts. But do not be bound by them for they cloud your true path. Your truth. Follow your heart, filling your way with truth and integrity. So much about truth, truth. Truth. Let's see what the magic, uh, the magic message from the magic dragons. Dragon born. We have sheltered magic. 
for millennia now, and it is nearly time for its rebirth. Feel hopeful, human child. There will soon be a wondrous moment from which a new world will be born. Wow, so these are dragon magic messages. Let's see, so underneath here, I also have star dragons. Standing up for your rights, a challenge, being challenged, 13. Mm, okay, this this could be a challenge. <laughs> All right, the 13, 113. The weirdest thing is, so if you are drawn to this, I have, um, so some of the numerology cards and the numbers and, and things like that, um, I also give clarification the 13th, 1-3, but um, this was about have, putting an extra effort, being challenged, and then 11, 11-13, 11, burning with passion. So, challenge, feel hopeful even, standing up for your rights, truth, invention, whoa, seven of wands, so there may be a sense of being defending or protecting yourself, um, burning with passion, 4-11, 10, 13, interesting. Um, 11, 28, maybe a little Sagittarian, but this invention, Burning with Passion, look, both of these dragons are looking towards the future. So this is a, coming, standing up. Interesting. The fire isn't there yet, but then they've got this passion. So there is a lot of Aquarian energy potentially, but um, something new. And even defending certain things. I might look at these both directions, okay? Because I do see a lot of the Oracle cards um, that are flipped upside down. And I have been doing that to try and read it both ways. So let's see, first and foremost, the child coins. Okay, protecting a child, okay? Um, defending, look, in de defending and protecting. Um, there's two children here, even potentially. But child coins is the page. Someone being defensive or protecting children, even... Four of Cups, okay, this is someone, this is taking it very, very slow, um, creating something. This is an Earth sign child, Taurus Capricorn, a Capricorn, Virgo, Four of Cups, Seven Four, so even, um, wow, and Seven Thirteen, a lot of Cancerian energy even coming through, or maybe something in July. Four of Cups in Reverse and having strength. I actually kind of like the way they're flowing with this. Um, This could have been a sense of, at one point, wow, even I'm seeing this as like standing up for your rights, even um, defending or protecting your own inner child. Uh, I know this is, for some, that's what it is, even, you know. Um, hmm. Feeling challenged. Very interesting. Four of Cups in Reverse does also show me that the emotions, um, there could have been apathy or boredom, uh, uh, maybe some regret, but it's coming out of that. S maybe there's a regret of not, not defending or standing up or protecting. Mm, strength coming through. So having strength, burning with passion. 411 again. Interesting. Hmm. Aries energy, 11-4, Scorpionic. But then we've got the Strength card. And Ten of Swords. Okay, so Ten of Swords. This is a beautiful Ten of Swords, um, which is, this is a very, this was very painful. Um, thoughts, communication, backstabbing, betrayal, potentially. Feeling that way. Gaining this strength. and But it is, all of these hurts are like being removed. It's like healing it. Kindness. Wow, that's so interesting. So only one dragon uh, tarot coming through and then the Illuma tarot. See, and when I set these up, I don't, you know what I mean? It's part of the fun for me revealing it and reading it and seeing what the story is. Uh, there is kindness and a sacred union here. 1818, your willpower. Wow. Okay, so the angel uh, from these, these are either called the magical times or enchanted times. By Jody Bergsma, live with compassion, open your heart to all life forms, be an angel with hands. Hmm. All life forms. And then a union. Oh, look, and we've pulled in the dragons even with this. You have seen and unseen allies. Draw upon their strength and join forces with friends and flourish. Wow. Passion. Wow. 
And then 18, 18, so 9, 9 as well. I'm pulling a lot of Aries, maybe Capricorn. A lot of Capricorn, maybe some Leo. Cancerian and Aquarian energy. Uh, Sagittarian. Let me see here. Um, 11, 10, and 10, 11. And 4, 11 again, yeah. Aries energy too. Willpower, achievements, success, striving forward, prosperity, go-getters, courage, and luck. Wow. Significant events are on the cards for you. You will progress in your endeavors and gain new experiences. The right people and resources will be put on your path. An excellent proposal or change is coming. You're destined for greatness. Wow. Live, live with compassion, Open being an angel with hands. And you have unseen and seen forces and allies and friends. Wow. Sheltered magic, standing up for your rights. Human child. Hmm. New invention. <laughs> wow. You're destined for greatness. Okay, that is number one and messages from Mordwin. Um, so once again, I just see this as really, um, blocking or defending, even protecting children, being patient. This child of coins is a, is the earth energy, right? Or your own inner child. Then there's the strength and courage burning with passion. Um, no longer feeling, I feel like there could have been, there could have been regret or apathy, boredom. Hmm. So if I were to, when things were in a reversed energy, okay, if I were to reverse these, this is feeling that that would be, it's a culmination, it's a finality of um, dealing with other people, even your own thoughts. Ten of Swords is other, it is very hurtful, feeling betrayed even, um, and feeling very weak and not being able to hold yourself back or feeling strong and just in a lot of sadness and regret, even maybe as a child being feeling, you know, weak. Um, hmm. And someone not defending or blocking. Huh? So that's what I see. Let me see. Let me see. You're welcome to continue on. That is Mordwin's message. Thank you all so much. Just quick ones with these little pick a cards, uh, pick a dragon message. You're welcome to check out any of the others or continue on. Okay. Um, the Luna, I do remember recalling seeing um, some of these swords again. Okay. Even though this is emotions. Okay. Let's see. Luna at 1259. The Luna. So, 15, the 18, oh my gosh, so there is interlink, okay, if you're watching all the way through, I just need to say, and if you just jumped here from the comments, um, a lot of times the two different dragons will have different, you know, uh, when I set these up, I do multiple, but when I am guided to pick the two messages together, they do interlink, so you can listen to the whole thing, um, and take it how it resonates, so 18 being spotlighted, again, 1-8, um, I'm also with that maybe Capricorn, Aries, Scorpionic, um, maybe Virgo or Sagittarian, but Luna energy is, um, you know, Piscean, Cancerian, but this is really tuning into the moon energy, okay? This is a feminine, divine feminine energy even, okay? Let's see, let's see, I'm going to start with your Dragon Path message and Luna, I brought it up in the first one. It was definitely one fifteen eighteen. Let's see. There we are. The galactic dragon. Embrace and accept what you really feel. Nine four and nine five. As our name suggests, Luna is connected to our moon and her phases. She is a mother figure, and due to her watery nature, she connects to emotions, creativity, and of course, water. Her arrival is a prompt to fully fill your emotions, particularly if you have been avoiding their messages. She urges you to examine them, own them, and release what you no longer need. She says, if you've been feeling overwhelmed, it is fine to ask for help. This is not a weakness, but an acknowledgement that you have been strong for too long on your own. 
a little self-care wouldn't go amiss either. You can only fully be who you want to be once you embrace and accept what you really feel. Only then can you truly transform. It's like you must feel to heal. And I already, so when I was setting these cards up, I do remember seeing, so sometimes the tarot flips up. And um, so there is a sense of heartbreak or even a sense of betrayal. Um, thoughts, communication, okay, that then affect the emotions, right? The words, um, hmm, and expressing even how you feel, transforming. She urges you to follow our creativity and to revisit latent talents even, whether they are musical, written in the field of performing and so on. She tells me these activities are good for your soul, for the soul. You can lose yourself in the moment, become engrossed in a piece of work and embrace the bliss that accompanies such activities. And um, so I, I tell you guys this a lot too, especially the, the art and stuff, the, the, the poor acrylic liquid, <laughs> poor art and losing yourself. And I enjoy doing this. Uh, as you can see, and I'm just incorporating it into my own creative thing. This whole thing, this whole channel for me and sharing it with you guys is a creative venture of learning and trying to keep it fun, but also being realistic as well. I really, you know what I mean? Um, and there's a sense of alchemy and transmuting um, and even putting yourself out there without fear of, hmm, you know, being judged or, I mean, I, well... Accepting there's this, I don't, I don't know how else to say it, but um, I've only been doing the art stuff since not even a full year that I had been um, trying it out, um, but it definitely has been something, and I see that as the same thing of losing yourself in it, and it can be with anything creative. All right, they're good for your soul. There, there's so much with the, it, it has a lot of Venetian qualities, actually, like you know, art and beauty and um, putting your true emotions into it, even in music. And the emotions can be strong, hatred, hatred even, or hurt, heartbreak. I mean, think of music, you know, or joy, upliftment. <coughs> Anyways, let's see. So this is the magic of the dragon's message, a journey, dragon journey. We dragons adore a quest. Adventure now beckons, so go forth on this sacred journey and until the treasure, the true purpose of this quest is yours. And that treasure, why? It is you, human child. Mother energy. Okay, here we go. Choices. Wow. So 18 and 9. Oh my gosh, 9, 18, 9, 9. Oh, wow. Understanding your choices. Wow, 9, 12. And 12-9, a lot of Virgo coming through, which is really interesting. Maybe it's just you have a Virgo moon for some of you. It doesn't have to be um, gathering your power and your strength, even though there is some Piscean, Cancerian, right? Um, Sagittarian. Okay, let's see. So I might read the tarot back and forth. It's interesting because these are the star codes. They come in reverse a little bit. But that's okay. Understanding the consequences of your choices, right? There are consequences. The emotions. Actions. And gathering your strength. Oh, see, yeah. Because I see heartbreak under here. And three of swords, ten of swords. Three, ten. Ten, three, one, oh, three. Three, twelve. Twelve, three, twelve, ten. Okay, wow. The self. Gathering your power going on this journey so someone feels very heartbroken over something like this this dragon is got there and feels like their heart's been ripped out there's pain and sadness this feels heartbroken um it it shows though that this is the finality of it wow there is aries energy in here so i may also read these both ways okay 18 318, 9, 9, 3, 9, 10. Ten of Swords in Reverse shows understanding the consequences of your, your choices, your actions, the emperor, the boss, the masculine, the father, or the husband energy. 
it does show Aries. I do pull a little Taurus energy. He's in reverse. So maybe feeling like someone backstabbed, betrayed, feeling very hurt, an ending. This is a painful ending, um, but it's the finality of it, the consequences. Wow, and five of swords. Wow, so there is a lot in the head and thoughts. Hmm. Ten four. Twelve four. And five of swords. The p power. Okay, call upon the elements. Focus your intentions. The greatest dragon is within you. Oh my gosh. Okay, so these, I am going to read it the other way of taking back your power, right? Gathering your strength, right? Right now it feels like there is, there's so many, there's been a lot of thoughts and communication and hurt. Um, and that, that's the emotions. That's what, uh, okay. Um, this is the Jody Berg's list. Uh, I believe it's Magical Times, Enchanted Times, Oracle. And it doesn't, um, it's not actually always, it's not connected so much with the dragons. Uh, so you can, there's fairies and animals and different, and, you know, uh, different um, creatures throughout it. But I find it really interesting that I, it is a lot of the dragon energy, right? And then the, the greatest dragon is within you. Focus your intentions, prosperity, peace, and power. The power and prosperity and hold your vision, 1551. Focus on the positive and more good will come. Give thanks for blessings and they will multiply. Prosperity begins in the mind. So this is about getting your head right. The mind, the thoughts, feeling betrayed even. And maybe it's about a, a moon energy, um, Luna, and your emotions. So needing to, you know, an adventure beckons. That's very interesting. Going on your quest. And holding your vision. Look at once again and focusing on the positive and blessings. Focus on the good and maintain your concentration on the outcomes you desire. It's time to put your faith and time. And time into your ideas and pursue your goals with all your might. You have such a beautiful, courageous, and brave spirit. Wow. Manifesting abundance, money, dreams, vision, and prosperity. 15, 6, 6. So even the 12s, the 3s, creating things. I'm seeing creative. If, you know, how you see your, there's Aries, Leo potentially, a Taurus energy. Hmm. The one, two, three. Taking back your power. Understanding your consequences of um, actions, words. This emperor in reverse is someone who is being very controlling, potentially, or they feel very powerless. This is, there might have been a lot of being very demeaning and cutting, betrays. Not an, an emperor. This is... Someone who is very rude with and cutting and rude with our words, even. Okay. Maybe the thoughts. Now, let's turn it upside down. Because I do want to see, giving this... When we put this masculine, this emperor... Uh -huh, he got flipped upside down or something, right? The feminine. Hmm. So three of swords in reverse would also show a sense of healing. These things as well. Heart, there, maybe there was heartbreak. There is like, maybe there's heart issues. Or someone was betrayed by something. Nine, ten. But then this would still feel regardless. But we got ten, thirteen, right? And three, ten. It's about understanding the consequences of your actions and choices. And this is, this dragon is, it, it's feeling loss. Um, so much lightning with these two cards. The Emperor needing to balance, um, take back, gathering strength, getting out of feeling in your head. This is a lot of dealing with other people or your own thoughts. I mean, it is heartbreaking with some of this. Wow. Hopefully this helps give some type of understanding. I think I want to get you a few charms because I knew this one was kind of heavy. Um, but these are like, there's no emotions with this, which is interesting. 
it's just words and thoughts. Um, sometimes there's a third party energy. There's other people in the mix that have created this. Choices and consequences. Okay. Call upon the elements. Focus your intentions. Focus. Focus. Hold your vision. So about what you want. Okay. We've got. Wow. Good luck. Oh, the mother energy. The Luna. Uh, a four heart clover with a diamond in the center. That's a beautiful soft blue. Another star. Oh my gosh. Another magical flower with the rhinestone in the center. Okay. The seashell, it's missing a pearl, if you notice. This one doesn't have a pearl. Mm. Gathering your strength. And then we have the planets. Is this even about maybe Saturn or Jupiter, wisdom, abundance, Uranus? Uh, I don't know which planet, but the planets. The rings of Saturn or Jupiter. Oh, wow. Purple. Wisdom. Hmm. There's good luck and a, a prosperity. That's what I see. Abundance. Okay. That's a good message. That's a good message. So whatever it is, whomever, vice versa. If you, It could be you dealing with, you can be the emperor in this dynamic. You can be dealing with an emperor, right? Okay. It could be just a boss. Uh, it could be, I feel like they got betrayed, you know, or they've been very cutting and, and when someone feels like they're losing their power and they've made bad choices or there was just you know something heartbreaking another person there's backstabbing feeling betrayed and then look this emperor now is in a two of swords energy so air sign potentially as well four five but also aries five four taurus uh virgos all right, guys, I hope this has helped. Um, check out the other readings for more clarification. So it is things being healed. It, feeling is part of meaning how things get healed. Uh, and yeah. All right. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.